Hello everyone! Sana mabuti naman kayo, nasa naman kayo sa mundo. My name is Candace Joy Oliva. And napakalaki ng pasasalamat ko for being a part of this Living Hyphen Showcase with Brickyard. I will be reading one of my favorite poems called Pagkamata. My mom loves it too. Hindi ay para sa iya. And this is for all of our foremothers. Para man ini sa kuya. And it is for you. For you to remember your own pagkamata. But before we go on, I would like to share two Filipino words. Each one of them going two different ways, but somehow they still meet. The first one is called mata. In Tagalog, mata means eye. And bikol means awake. The second word is apo. And depending on which syllable you pull from, it can hold space for either a grandchild or an ancestor. This is become. Pagkamata. You remember where we begin. You barefoot on boulders, fresh from the foothills of the Rockies. Finally, soaking up the verdant veins of Mount Pisarog. Breathing it in heaps. Just a flitter of limbs. Skipping across river rocks for another hashtag TFP. You at 21, so high above asking permission or muttering incantations of Gabi apo, makikiagi lang po. You forget yourself, child, tripping, tripsing around your ripples till your soul had you slipping underwater with a deafening crescendo and ooh, what a tumble down your own pedestal. But you see my death. This water, our water, forgiving, giving you a second or thought. And you chose this, a wish, a need to tell Ma you were okay, for you can bear your own death, but not her anguish. That is when you became a forebearer. That is when you found your footing on my fish, hair, propelled from my undercurrents, carried safe to my sun-washed kneecaps. Apo, didn't you ever wonder how you survived what could have very well been a fatal fall? How you rose up without scratches on your skin? Without rivers in your lungs, if not a gulp, not a mark, then what did you bring back? And who brought you back? Whose eyes was it that returned yours? Where I grew up in Bicol. We say tabi apo before bothering a pile of rocks or grass or making ripples through rivers because you never really know what spirit has already made their homes there. I wrote Pagamata based on my experience the last time I came home to the Philippines back in 2018. All the forgetting and all the remembering and this awakening and homecoming to nature, to ancestors, and most of all to myself. So now I ask you, 
how are you forgetting and remembering your Pagkamata? Your own awakening, your own homecoming. <laughs>